Get out, everyone. Welcome back. Oh. Got a little conversation about the happenings in the CS market. Let's start with the obvious ones, Shanghai. And oh, that's a, a mess waiting to happen. Um, the community has just been very mid on all of these stickers so far. Not like this little guy. Oh. Yeah, people are very, very mid on Shanghai where it feels a little rushed by Valve from the fact that it's borderless, from the dragon part, the, the dragon on the art partially covering the stickers, so when you scrape them, they can't, they, like, it scrapes away part of the logo, so you can't even get a clean logo anymore, especially on stuff like the popular teams like Cloud9, uh, Wildcard, whew, you can't, <laughs> it's absolutely insane, you, they've covered one of the eyes, it's like they've put no thought into how the, how it's going to actually look, they've just got the teams, had a pre-applied layer, Took the teams, applied it, shipped it, gone, off we go. Let's run it and see how it sells. The most hype that I've seen around the stickers has been Rare Atom, and that's just from the Chinese market. They think it's handsome, is the, been, been the key, key word. Handsome. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's going to be lots of fun to look at. Um, but big news there is a big positive in that most recent update you all probably know by now but you can rent any csgo weapon case any of the csgo weapon cases phoenix's um bloody weapon case ones bravo's rent a fire serpent rent it's still two dollars fifty us for a key and you have to pay for the case consumes both the case and the key uh but you can then rent all the skins with random wares in that collection for a week. For a casual player who wants some nice skins for a little while for their for their little binge, at the moment it's seven dollars a week to rent an Orp Asimov or rent an AK Asimov is like four dollars for a week. Um, <laughs> that's really really good for your mid to older tier cases. It, Oh, with the Orb Asimov, with the Operation Phoenix case, you also get an AK Redline. These classic skins, you can't craft with them or do anything with them, obviously, but the cases themselves are like seven bucks a week for an AK Redline and an Orb Asimov, plus all the other random stuff that you that you get to play with. Seems like an absolute no-brainer. You've got the Orb Chameleon in that case too, I think, but we leave that one alone. Um, yeah, wow, that's going to be a... Big, big winner, big win for case investors in the long run. In the short term, it's not really gonna do anything, but we're just waiting for the rented AK case hardened blue gem in step in uh, factory new to pop up on float as the number one and never be able to see it sold. Oh, that's gonna make people very, very sad um, when that when that inevitably happens, because renting it. I mean, renting out the, a random AK661 for a week is, what, well, open case one's 90 Australian, so it's about 95 Australian, so it's about 50 bucks for a week to have a random AK <laughs> case hardened. It's not bad, it's not bad for team, it's not bad for teams either, if you want to have a roughly even set of weapon skins for an up and coming team, you don't have anyone who will lend you skins, you don't have the money to buy them. Rent them for a week of your televised, of, of your live streamed games. It's quite nice. It's quite nice to see people look at them and go, oh, yes, this is, this is what I want. That's part of the idea of skins anyway. We all do it because we like it. <sighs> That's uh, hopefully something that just doesn't change. People enjoy it. People enjoy the skins, crafting with skins, playing with the skins. Um, I certainly do. Uh, I know a lot of other people do as well. Some people are purely in this for the money. It is what it is. There's always going to be that subsection of any any market, but that makes up the vast minority of uh, 
of the user base. I'm sorry, a very small minority, I should say. Um, yeah, this rented case, these rented case skins are fantastic. My big, the biggest winners in my eyes, Danger Zone case, Operation Phoenix case, maybe Winter Offensive, but that's already expensive as is just for a Vulcan. Um, but yeah, that's those, those are my two big picks of the to get your Asimovs and um, a good AK. Uh, oh, and an, the Danger Zone has an orb in the end, a good a good orb, a good AK. Um, yeah, it's, that those are going to be fantastic winners for people to if they're just looking for a week or two weeks worth of stuff. Seven US for a week for orb Asimov and AK Redline. You could rent them for a year, and it still would you'd still be break even versus buying it and that's a fantastic model in terms of business sense to have um, that's gonna really 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 be good for good for cases good for Valve. Valve's gonna make so much money off of it um, in the long run <laughs> oh. so yeah um, we sort of went on a tangent there sort of left Shanghai in the dust yeah uh, the coin is cool Coin is, uh, Coin is definitely probably the best of the round generic art coins that you can offer with the, with the dragon on it. The writing looks nice. Um, just waiting on, uh, just waiting on the, uh, hopefully diamond coin to come through. We'll see, see how we go with your pickums. Um, don't put FlightQuest 03, that's my one, that's my one tip. They're going to ruin everyone's pickings who put them 03. But <laughs> that's, that's just the nature of how they play. That's what happens. Um, I don't have any delusions that they're going to get through, but, but the, I don't think that they'll just 03 out. See how that goes. Um, yeah, so state, state of the market, everything pre well pre Shanghai release everything's been on a general uptick cases st stickers older stickers as well it's all on a slow uptick as we're coming into holiday season Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving in the states is typically people are doing their Black Friday sales people are selling stuff so you see it less in the CS market but in up in other markets it's been not happening, the, the weakness that you'd expect. You're seeing items hit all-time highs, like you, from crypto to magic cases, boxes, however, however you want. Butterflies, those collectible? I don't know, I like it, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting time as people take that this massive surge of crypto money like Bitcoin hit, hitting just just shy or just hit a hundred thousand a couple of days ago it's, it's doing real other, other cryptos are popping up that are doing all right it's gonna bring more money as they as people deleverage they go into CS they go into other collectibles they go into stocks they buy a bit of everything because they've now got discretionary spending especially going to Christmas oh my god People have taken all their take all their Christmas money and just buy stuff. It's insane uh, the amount of money that just gets injected into um, into things for fun. Pete, Timmy's gonna go and take his uh, what hundred dollars worth of Christmas gear and maybe buy himself a cheap knife for CS because that's what he plays all day and that's what he likes. Um, whether he's going to buy some stickers to to open, whether he's going to. Um, open some cases. Who knows what they're going to do. It's going to be... It's, it's, I'm cautiously optimistic. It depends how people go with, uh, with, with crypto, how people go with their excess funds, because living is hard. People cannot spend as much. People are really, really struggling with their rents, especially where I am in Australia. Um, you're seeing rents, what we charge by the week. My area has gone up to $750, $800 a week for, for a house, and that's like insane. I've locked in at $550, and I moved from there from a house that, that was $250 a week. Like, 
<laughs> this this is all in the in the span of like four years. It's <laughs> it's absolutely insane. I've gone from two fifty to nearly six hundred a week myself in four years, and there's people willing to come and pay more. But that's a whole other issue. Australia needs to build more houses, and we just don't have the manpower to do it, and especially not the manpower to do it well. There are too many houses that are just crap quality. Can I say crap? Whatever. Um, yeah, it's insane. But that's that. That's a topic for another time. Probably not suited to me, but or this channel. But we'll we digress. Um, yeah. Cases will continue to do well. Cases, it's all positive for cases. Stickers, borderless set number four, five. The only break has been Rio, which was terrible. I hope Shanghai sells like doo doo and nobody ends up applying most of the stickers. I really hope that it's just a big send off to Valve of saying, no, this is enough. This is... There's too many of the same sticker. There's too many of just the same looking thing that you can make... You, like, they can make the different holo effects. Imagine if you had that Cloud9 holo effect with a border that would have rotated through or have it going through the holo of the dragon and the Shanghai logo. Like, imagine how amazing some of these would look with even just a simple border, just something basic that they can add on to and really stylize for, uh, for the event. And like have it scrape cleanly, people would absolutely have lost their minds for it. It would have been amazing. And instead we got a community going, eh, and that's just disappointing. Yeah, it's disappointing all around. We'll, we'll see how the, uh, emotions play out. People like to invest emotively. People will just look at something and go, wow, this sucks. I'm not buying it. Six months later, it goes up in price and go, oh my God, I'm going to buy this now because it went up in price and that definitely means it's going to continue. <sighs> that said, I've had a lot of investment options in life, but I just hope that no one buys and applies the stickers. That's personal. That, I, I don't like what has happened. Am I going to have some? Probably. Is that a bit hypocritical of me? Sure. But you buy everything and then you never miss an opportunity that gets sidelined. And that's... You just have to buy and sit and wait. And you're just waiting for your opportunities. It's a really, really poor at the moment with... Uh, the amount of borderless that's happened, but buying more cases all the time, buying is what I've been doing. I'm always buying more, uh, buying more cases, buy orders, flips, just passively just ticking over the balance sheet. <sighs> does okay, it does all right. See how we go over the next few months. The next mm, 60, 90 days are gonna be very interesting in the market. I think we're gonna see some good, the, we're risk on, basically. We're, everything's pushing towards wanting prices to go higher, except for borderless stickers. Um, there's not much that's holding us back. Um, yeah, that's that's gonna be it for today. Hope you all have a good day. Have a, enjoy your festivities. See you later.